out of the clear blue of the western sky comes Sky King, brought to you by Nabisco, National Biscuit Company. step on it, we'll never make the show. If I do step on it, we'll have less chance of making it. What? More accidents are caused by speeding than anything else. For every mile you increase your speed above 40, your chances of reaching your destination decrease at the ratio of, of 2 to 1. Well, dig the statistician. It's true. I read it in the newspaper. All right, all right. I'm sorry I brought it up. Looks like somebody's broken down. I see him. You're not going to stop, are you? Certainly. You should always help a fellow motorist in distress. Can we help you? Yeah, you sure can. What seems to be the trouble? We need a car. Get out. All right, come on, move. Hey, take your hands off her! Wait till his dad hears about this. Yeah, who's his old man, Buffalo Bill? He's the mayor of Grover, that's who he is. The mayor, huh? Let's get out of here before somebody shows up. Did you hear what the kid said? Not his old man being mayor of that whistle stop? Yeah. What do you want me to do, Bow? I forget you're green around here. This guy Kerry's also president of the bank in town. Now, do you get it or do I have to draw you a picture? The only picture I want to see is the border. The quicker the better. Yeah, what are we going to use for money when we get there? Give me a hand with him. His dad will pay plenty to get him back. Let's go. Leave him alone! Here, come on. Don't you touch him! Calm down. Here, sir, I'll let you have it. You want to hit your hands and I'll talk? Taking advantage of people! I'm help! Help! Here, help! 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 You'll get a lot worse than you've had before. Now get in the car. <laughs> Tell Junior's old man not to do anything till he hears from us. Mitch, anything wrong? Everything's wrong when you're sheriff. <laughs> a couple of desperate characters broke out of the state penitentiary. Well, why should that worry you? You're sheriff of Grover County. They stole a car and are heading this way. Oh, well, why didn't you contact me? Maybe I could have gotten the line on it from up high. My radio's on the fritz. I was driving to your ranch when I saw you coming in. Let's have a look at it. Anybody I know? Who? Those convicts. Oh, yeah, I think you do. Artie Stone and Bert Gordon. Weren't they the ones that were caught red-handed in that express company holdup? Yeah, the ones. Hey, wait a minute. I think I found it, Mitch. One of the wires came loose. Okay, give it a whirl. Hello, Dan. Hello, Dan. Can you hear me? Over. Hear you plain as day, Sheriff. What happened? We've been trying to get you for an hour. Over. My radio's been out. I'm a Sky King in his ranch. What's up? Over. Just got word that Stody and Gordon knocked out the gas attendant at Milestone early this afternoon and are heading toward the border in his car. Over. Was it that old 39 coupe of his? That's the one. He should be glad they stole it. It's falling apart. 
Let me know if you hear anything more. Out. They can't be very far from here if they're heading south for Milestone. Maybe I could cut their trail and round them up before they cross the county line. Can I help? Not right now. I'll let you know if you can. Good. Thanks for fixing the radio. Any time. I don't like this. The smartest thing we can do is dump the kid and head for the border. The smartest thing you can do is to shut up. What in the world are you doing here? A couple of men stopped us and they stole the station wagon. Who's the other half of the us? Bob Carey. We were on our way to town to see him. Where is he? Oh, they took him. Oh, they learned his father was a banker and, and so they were going to hold him for ransom. Which direction did they go from here? Oh, they said they were going to head for the border after they collected the money from Bob's dad. Well, how long ago did they leave? Oh, gosh, about a half an hour ago, maybe a little longer. Sheriff calling Sky King. Sheriff calling Sky King. Come in, Sky. Over. Sky King here, Mitch. Over. I'm on Highway 7, about 20 miles south of town. I've got a line on those jailbirds. Can you fly over here and pick up Penny? Penny? Is she hurt? Only her feelings. They stole a station wagon from her. She'll tell you all about it when you get here. I'm on my way. like this for a hideout. Looks like somebody's living here. So much the better. I could stand some chow and a cup of java. I'll case the cabin. You watch the kid. Let's go, Buster.
where the guy is that belongs to this dump. We'll worry about that when he shows up. Sit down. Yeah, in the meantime, we'll get some food. Then get Junior started and write a letter to his old man. Here's a can of stew. Dog my skin. What do you mean by breaking into my cabin without my leave and disturbing my siesta? All right, clear out the lot of you. Sorry, Granddad, we didn't see you. We'd have been more careful. Say, how come you're sleeping on the floor when you got a bed? Don't Granddad me. My name's Hector. And for your information, I don't start out sleeping on the floor. I just wind up there. <laughs> Nightmares throw you, huh? Say, how about fixing us some food? We're starved. This ain't no cafe. And I ain't got no grub to waste on strangers. So hightail it. Get. How do you want your eggs? Up or over? I don't see any use in following this highway any longer. If they'd stayed on it, we'd have spotted the station wagon by now. We'll cruise over toward the hills. Tell him that nothing will happen to you if he does as we say. Hey, Grandpa, hurry up with that chow. Dad rotted, I only got two hands. I ain't no octopus. That's funny. What? Smoke coming out of Hector's chimney. What's funny about that? Maybe he's cooking something. Well, that's just the point. Hector hasn't cooked a daytime meal as long as I've known him. That was way before you were born. Maybe he ran out of canned goods. And maybe he's entertaining company. It won't hurt to have a look. Trim, Penny. See it. Dear Dad, cooperate. Cooperate with the police in every way, no matter what happens. Don't pay any ransom for me. Why, you little squirt, so we gotta get rough with you. I don't care how rough you get. I'm not writing any letter. You dirty sidewinders. Get back to that stove. Shack. Get rid of him, Grandpa, whoever he is. Clear off that table while we stash Junior out of sight. And another thing, be careful what you say. tarnation are you doing in this neck of the woods? Can't a person have any privacy at all? Well, I happened to see some smoke coming out of your chimney. I thought maybe something was wrong. What'd you expect to see coming out of a chimney? Santa Claus? But I thought that... Now, stop thinking. There ain't no law against having a fire in a stove, is there? No. No, uh, sorry I busted in on you this way.
anything wrong, Uncle Sky? There may be. Do you think you can take the songbird out of here by yourself? Well, sure I can. Good girl. Now, when you get in the air, you contact Mitch and have him get over here just in case. And bring the songbird back in ten minutes. Okay, start your engines. Okay, Gordon, he's leaving. I wish we were gone, heading for the border. Don't cut your warning, you will be by yourself. Come on, let's eat. Then we'll see you about that letter. Come on, hurry it up, will you? Hurry up with those eggs and cook them easy. <coughs> hey, what are you trying to do? Smoke us out of here? That's funny. It never acted like this before. I'll oh, get out of the way. Give me a rag. <coughs> Blast the kid. Drop your gun or I'll shoot your friend. Right now, I haven't got a friend. <laughs> so I'm not a friend, huh? In that case, I might as well look out for myself. Stoney. It's just a girl. What do I need Stoney in that car for when I got a plane to take me across the border in? And a pretty girl for a pilot. Watch him. He moves out frying. No 
time to talk, bitch. Go after that station wagon. One of the men grabbed Penny. I told you the other road, but you wouldn't listen. Get back there with Bob. Mitch? Yeah, it's under the front seat on my side. Here, take my gun. Make him think I'm still with you. Take your choice, mister. Either walk down or be dragged down. Well, I'll be on my way. I guess we will, too. Hector, you can go back to bed now. Bed? I'm going to pack my duds. Are you moving? You're gall dang right I'm going to move. To the city. What for? What for? This gosh blame country's getting so crowded a fella can't have no peace or quiet. 